Welcome to my channel. My name is Nasreen and today I'm going to show you how to change an electrical outlet. The first thing I'm going to do is check if it has power. And that means it does. If you don't have a voltage detector, you can use something else like a lamp. Now, since this has power, we're going to head outside and turn it off. This power switch goes to the master bedroom, so I'm going to turn it off. Now we're going to check again and make sure there's no power. Nothing there. Looks good. Now I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to take the faceplate off. Here we go. You see it has a screw here and here. We're going to unscrew them and take this out. You guys run into some old outlets. You can change them super easy. It's not that hard. You don't have to pay someone to do it. You can do it yourself. We're gonna pull it forward. It's kind of stuck to the wall there. All right. Okay, we have three wires, a neutral, a ground, and a hot. And we're gonna take them all off. All right, now we're taking the neutral off. And the ground. Okay, we got the old one off. Now this is just a basic outlet wiring video. If you take the outlet off and there's more wires than just these three, that's a whole nother video. But if you have a setup like this, you should be able to take the new one and put it back together the same way the other one was. But since we have it off, let's go over a few things. On the back of the outlet, it usually has a gauge that shows you the exact length the wire needs to be stripped, right there. And it also tells you which side is hot. So this side is hot. A good tool to have when doing this kind of work are these wire strippers that are made specifically for doing electrical work. It has some really cool features like these needle nose crimpers at the top. Next, we have different size gauges to strip wire. Work pretty good. You can use this section to cut multiple wires. Clean cut. Next, we have a couple holes for cutting single wires. Just feed it through and cut. You can also use these holes to make your loop that goes around the screw. You just close it, put it in the hole, and then turn it all the way around. It makes your loop. And if you need to, you can crimp it a little more. Then you can put it on your screw. It also has a spring that makes it really easy to use as opposed to normal pliers that you have to open yourself every time. Some outlets have this extra little tab on them where you can just stick the wire in underneath it and tighten it. In which case, you don't have to loop it like these ones. Now these were looped, but I'd rather have them straight, so I'm gonna cut them. Now I'm gonna use my gauge to mark them. Now strip them. Did a good job. Now I'm gonna make my loop. Okay, now I'm gonna hook up the hot to the copper side, the neutral to the silver side, and the ground to the green. We're gonna tighten it once it's in. Pretty tight. There. Now we're gonna do the hot. We don't want this plastic underneath the screw or the tab. And we also don't want it so far back that the wire is exposed. Now the ground, tighten it in there. You want your loop to go in the direction that you're screwing. There we go, it's all set. The last thing we're gonna do is put some electrical tape around our outlet before we put it in because we have a metal box. If these screws here touch this metal box, it'll cause an arc. So you wanna make sure all your screws are tight and really good. As you can see, it already happened here because it's black and so is the screw. So at some point, this screw touched the plate and caused an arc. We're gonna start at the top. Wrap around, not too tight. Okay. The second time, we're gonna get a little tighter. And 
All right, and then we're gonna cut it. There we go, wrapped up. Now we're gonna push it back in, but if there's any dirt or debris back here, make sure you clean that out. All right. Straighten it as you go. Now we're gonna screw the face plate in. And that's it, we have a beautiful new outlet. Look at the difference. So much prettier, yay! Now I'm gonna go turn the power back on and test it. Turn it on, let's go check inside. Power! Great, we did a good job. You can also get these fancy little circuit testers and this will tell you if everything is wired and grounded right. Let's see. These two lights means it's wired correctly and grounded. I hope you enjoyed the video and see that it's not that hard. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Just kidding. See you guys soon.